I had two of them out at once, that'd be pretty cool. I could cast a spell and get two niblets. It's a very, it's a very strange sentence, but... <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Gracie, and welcome to episode three of this Let's Play series of Oaken using Kusta, the guide who is a big scary mothman. Now in our last episode, we got through an elite encounter, which was pretty brutal. We died once, and then we used our only redo for a run. Uh, we are an expert, so this is quite a bit more difficult. This is only the first chapter of the game and I died, you know, five nodes in. So I can't make any mistakes for the rest of the run or it's over. So we have done a, a rest point. We've got our maximum health up to 11. We're still five fatigue down, which is real unfortunate, but if we can beat the boss, we'll heal all the way back up. Let's head to this battle. We've got forest littering. The eclipse accelerates the decay of plant matter, which makes forest litter accumulate in overwhelming amounts. Uh, defeat the enemies. Destroy all eclipsed roots is the secondary objective. Environment dusker influence. Enemies on corruption have plus one plus one or eclipse tiles. And uh, wild daughters are enemies. They are shooters, three threes, and they outsmart. They push things away when they shoot. And then we have hollow seedlings. They are four fives. They are voiceless. They fill their frontal arc with corruption, which can make enemies stronger. And they have growth creates corruption on being summoned or moving. Goodness gracious. They're just going to wreck everything. All right. So we need to redraw here. Well, this is a four cost. So I'm thinking I redraw all of these ones and keep this one. Okay. And I'd like to grab this this fatigue thing here. Oh, here's some of the roots I have to kill. Is there a shrine on this one? No, I have trouble seeing the shrine sometimes. Okay. So we're going to go to here. They can't shoot me. I hit this one. And then I'm going to summon my own shooter. What's the range on these guys? Not quite far enough. So if I summon here, that'll be kind of a decent spot, actually. Okay, and turn there. Okay, there we go. So that's uh, that's okay because it's um, killed itself off, but this unit survived. So we're gonna we're gonna go up to here. I'm I'm fine to expose my back here because this one can't actually reach me. I'm going to kill this root. I'm going to heal this unit. Uh, I'm going to summon. this unit here. This will produce the niblets that can help protect this unit. I'm just gonna wait right there. Okay, we can't reach that one, but they'll have to come in closer if they wanna hit me. This is an interesting little game we have now. This is a shooter, so I have to go over there and deal with this, unfortunately. Uh, the other thing I could do is move a little closer and fire at it with a spell. Uh, if we do that, we can actually make a niblet. I'll take a little bit of damage from this shooter, but it won't be too bad. So I can fire on this one. And then we'll go ahead and debuff that one so it'll only hit me for one. That's a pretty good turn, I think. Let's have you turn and just kill this root. We got one more root to take out down here. Okay, so it pushes me, unfortunately. So, what do we want to do? We could summon our, our big friend here to do some massive amounts of punishment to these two in terms of exposure and weakness there. So we could go... Yeah, I think if we summon here... Like so. These guys are so incredibly weakened, but they're also voiceless, so I gotta be careful. I like to use that up on... Yeah, so, okay, so we're gonna move a niblet in here. It'll kill this one, because it's so weakened. And then this, you know, the niblet, we don't care if they get 
voiceless debuffs on them because they, they don't come back. And then this one can shoot this one. Okay, we took no fatigue from that. That's awesome. And this one can't get us. So I'm going to... Plop that down there for the niblet spawn. Then we're going to start moving on down. Be careful to avoid this shooter because it pushes you around. So you have to be careful. That's a shooter. So that cast a spell for us. So we can plop another one of those down and keep making those. Let's go to here. This guy inflicts weakness on enemies in line of sight. So that's only these two because they can't see through each other. I could put it here. I'll do that. I could move this one to here and this one to here. And now this shooter will have this, whatever spawns can be shot. Oh, perfect. We've even got four, four damage right here. So let's make a... Tile right like there. We'll sap this one. No, it has to be adjacent to me. Shoot. Let's weaken that one. Smack him. We'll heal him back up. Forgot about this thing. We gotta kill that before the end of next turn. So let's just put this thing here. Destroy eclipsed roots. Okay, so we can just kill this one. And then this one's back is exposed, so we'll just go behind it here and just smack it. Okay, easy peasy. Yeah, that was weirdly easy secondary objective, considering how hard some of the other ones have been. So we have, we're up to 23. Unfortunately, we're one away from an upgrade. I think we probably want a unit... But do I want... I don't like these Tinker units much. I think I'll grab another Shaper. If I had two of them out at once, that'd be pretty cool. I could cast a spell and get two Niblets. It's a very, it's a very strange sentence, but that's what we're doing. This would give me a health point. I think these guys are okay as they are. Uh, these ones are kind of important. But they're so weak right now. I'm still going to start the process of buffing them up. They feel like they're kind of important. Do 11. Okay. So let's start on the boss. Broken Ridge. On the very verge of the Oak's Crown resides a Dusker that claimed the largest part of the territory for itself. This may not be the place the Pathfinder was talking about. Defeat the animated hero. Do not leave any corrupted tiles. Uh, that's going to be hard. Fertile soil, all units have growth, creates cultivation on being summoned or moving. Dusker influence, enemies are stronger on the eclipsed corrupted tiles. So we've got the Conqueror, this is the 336 voiceless. We have Spit, summons two wild orblings, ah, he's got an upgraded version. And fly away, leave the battlefield, uh, and then deal five damage to enemies in the landing zone. And summon three wild orblings on landing. There is going to be a mess of units all over the place during this fight. Hello, Mr. Pathfinder. He's not here. Maybe this is not the Broken Ridge after all. I think we've got a problem even bigger than your non-existent sense of direction. Look up. This is the fattest Dusker I have ever seen. That's not my guide. Maybe they didn't do... Um, maybe they don't have special dialogue for Kusta yet. All right, let's begin. So defeat the enemy hero, do not leave any corruption, which it'll show us how many are on the map at the moment. This is going to be tough. I don't know if this guy moves. Here's a shrine. Um, these aren't going to be very helpful because... No, that's not true. The, the niblets might be actually quite helpful. 
Okay, this is a decent curve. We could heal some fatigue if we went up this way. I think I'm gonna do that. This is gonna suck because these guys always make the niblets right in front of them and this one when it does its jump, uh, its fly away thing, and then it comes back down and crashes, it will hit like an area. So it's gonna be hard to summon niblets and keep them alive. But I'm thinking the niblets will be really helpful because this guy's gonna summon a buttload of these orblings. This all probably sounds like complete gibberish if this is the first thing you've listened to. <laughs> but I think the orblings have two health. I think the orblings have two health. I can't confirm or deny that right now. All right, let's enter and see what happens. Why did you make a niblet? I didn't cast a spell. That was weird. Did you see that? Why'd that happen? Oh no, they have three health, that sucks. But we have uh, Bitter Gaze. Ooh, I took a lot of damage. I need to heal immediately. Why did you summon a niblet? Whenever you cast a spell, all units have growth. Um. I don't know. Is growth counting as a spell? And then when, oh my god, and then because he has growth, when this niblet is summoned, it creates the cultivated tile right where this one needs it to make another one. Oh, that's pretty cool. I need to get the lady out of here, because this hurts. This hurts a lot. This guy has rush, so this will be really helpful to be able to summon him behind the conqueror uh, next turn, or two turns from now, or whatever, whenever I have the opportunity. I want this. I need to, I need to get away, but these guys are so dangerous. Farewell deals damage to adjacent units. Four, so I can't, I can't go here. I have to go either, I have to go to one of these tiles. Um, because these are just too strong. Given a unit, I can give this to myself. Give a nearby ally plus two plus two. Well, that might be the way to go. I could start doing some damage. I've already healed this turn, that's not good. creates oh man it's gonna create the bad stuff when it moves gosh darn it this is terrible i think i'll make cultivated tiles around here in case i need to swap the positioning here but yeah why i'm sorry why are these guys spawning constantly <laughs> i don't understand i mean it's fine there's one damage to adjacent units on death So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna weaken this one. Haha, <laughs> okay, so I move this guy here. I kill this one. He explodes, does one damage to this one. Take that. Some Grayson style smack talk right there. Take that. Uh, this is my heal. I feel like I need this. Uh oh. Oh god, there's so many. Oh my god, there's too many orblings. Uh, oh my god, there's so many. How am I supposed to deal with all these? I didn't get any niblets. Give me the niblets. Shit, this guy's strong. <laughs> uh, oh god, I'm in trouble. Okay, I've got lots of units to make, uh, to make use of here. So somebody's got to be able to help, right? We've got all this weakness and stuff. We could set up a chain reaction. Um... Oh uh, boy. Receive more damage. Removed after taking damage. Yeah, so I think we could set off a chain reaction.
right? So we go up to here. And we hit this guy, it'll blow everybody up. Which is fine. I gotta, gotta do the damage somehow. Now this guy is still weakened quite significantly because he hasn't attacked, right. This one didn't die because we hit the back arc. That's interesting. I didn't expect that. Um, how can I... I want to manipulate this in a way that um, I can summon the little niblets. This is real dangerous here. I could do this. This might be the best way to go. Rather than heal myself too, give them exp that's actually more value, I think. God, this is a hard one. This is hard. Oh, dear God, that's a lot of bad guys. Uh-oh, I set myself up to be exposed there. Um, I have to get out of here. You know, like I gotta, I gotta get out of here with the lady, but they just, I feel like they're following me around. Can do the exposure. Uh, we could, oh, that's a lot of damage. Maybe I should cast the spell. That's three of my points and I would have three left, which is not enough to do anything except for a sap. Uh, boy, uh, I can also, Make some niblets if I did that spell. I've got possibly a lethal amount of damage right here though, so I have to... I'm sorry, what's happening here? Why would I kill my own unit if I cast this? What in the world? Am I missing something? What the hell? Oh, because if I cast a spell, these will push the niblet. I'll push this niblet into myself. And this one will apparently hit him, I guess. It doesn't show that. that this is weird. This is so weird. Um, so I've got four, five, six seven eight damage plus up to two more is ten so i have to heal here this would give me minus one i might die from this actually uh which is real unfortunate i'm not sure if i've messed this up oh my god i have to get the hell away from these things but i can't i can't get to safety Okay, I'll just keep weakening him. This will kill all of them. Maybe I should bring one of these down because that'll kill but I can't turn him okay can I go back to before I summon to this guy no I can't damn so I may as well use him then because he's gonna die from this guy damn I messed that up oh my god I need these guys to come down and protect the lady I need to get behind them here uh oh, it's doing the crash down thing. this area as safe as possible here. Okay, please get away from me. Oh, okay. He moved and attacked on the attorney crashed back down. That's not good. We could sap him. 
for like a lot of damage actually. So I could do that. And then if I sap him, I'll push this one away. That didn't help. <laughs> sap him for that much. Can I kill him here? I can. Do not leave any corruption. Well, that's not gonna happen. Let's just finish him. Holy moly. Yeah, these are so much harder on expert. This is really challenging and fun. Okay, choose a perk. So do we want the engulf spell? Deal damage to an adjacent unit equal to the cultivation adjacent to it. Fill the area adjacent to the target with cultivation. I wonder if that happens second. Uh, hasten, give all allies summoned this turn rush. Hmm. Elder seedling, awake, fill its frontal arc with cultivation and its defender. I think I'm gonna take that. Oh, we get a trinket. You have plus one, minus one, and are vigilant. You have plus zero, plus three, defender. You have plus one, minus one, and shooter. I do like this one a lot. I think three, going up to three damage is kind of a big change. Even if she's still doing it in melee, she only loses one max health. Not too bad. All right, so we did it. So we beat a boss. Uh, let's plan our route a little bit here. Maybe do an upgrade. We've got one upgrade point. Let's get this trailer here. And then, so let's see, no secrets coming up here. Not in this chapter, at least. Maybe the next one will have one. And we want to do some regular battles to make sure we get more cards for our deck. Because you can even destroy cards for some Lumi Dust, uh, which is awesome. So that if we get too many cards, we can still break them down. But right now, I'm not feeling like I have too many. I feel like I need another spell or two. So we probably want to do some regular battles. Maybe some, like a rest stop. If I'm gonna do a elite fight, I probably wanna do a rest right afterwards because they tend to produce a lot of fatigue. So I'm thinking something like battle, battle. Oh no, we have to go over here. So battle, battle, event, event, rest. Because we sometimes get fatigue from events. Elite battle, rest, battle, boss. So that's what we'll do. So I think we'll start that in the next episode here. So I think we're going to call this one here. So I want to thank everybody so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying this series. It's a very, very fun game, and it's very fun to play. If you are enjoying this content, please consider liking and subscribing, and I will see you in the next episode.